This is a typical example of chronic anxiety, sometimes called the old sergeant syndrome. Today, we're making a scientific study of the mind, and we're finding some very encouraging things. One in five humans have some kind of anxiety-related condition. This number is pretty amazing. Uh, you know, we, in 2013, for which we have the last known record, 170 million prescriptions are given for antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication. Despite all these large numbers of prescriptions, we do not have effective therapies that we could prescribe to somebody suffering from anxiety or somebody suffering from a panic condition. So we're looking for better ways or better systems where one could make these kind of discoveries, find better drugs that are going to be able to treat human conditions. C. elegans is a nematode. It lives in the soil and it eats bacteria. Nematodes have been really critical for discovering multiple pathways that have relevance to humans. So the big picture summary is that we demonstrate that C. elegans has a rudimentary form of fear-like response and pathways that are known to modulate fear in mammals, also work in the same manner in the worm. Drugs that alleviate anxiety conditions in humans also seem to alleviate the anxiety condition in the worm. So in this experiment, we were really interested in seeing if we could study these sort of fear predator related behaviors in a really simple organism like C. elegans. So we took also a very simple predator called Pristianca specifica chemicals that are secreted by this predator seem to drive this fear avoidance kind of behavior in C. elegans. We used Zoloft to, to treat the C. elegans and we found that treating the worms with Zoloft reduced their responses to the predator in both their, their immediate behavior and also their long-term effects. The specific neurons that we found the effect of Zoloft in C. elegans are also neurons that control things like sleep in worms. And we also know that um, sertraline Zoloft can also have effects on sleep in humans. So given that C. elegans also has the same kind of response, and given that Zoloft seems to alleviate the C. elegans condition, it would suggest that perhaps the nematode, the simpler nematode, could be used in discovering newer drugs that would also be effective against uh, human conditions. This is one of the first examples of that, where you're trying to take a simple system to study a very complex problem that has so far eluded a good model.